Holism. Holism. That is considering the whole person. They have physical, social, psychological, and spiritual parts that make them up. So considering the entire person. Hypo. Hypo is a prefix. It's the beginning of a word. And the meaning is low, below, under, beneath, down, or below normal. Hyper. Hyper is also a prefix, so the beginning of a word, and it means above average, above normal, more than average. Hyper, it's up. So above normal for hyper. CDC. The CDC is the Center for Disease Control. CNS. The CNS stands for Central Nervous System. Central Nervous System. CHF. Congestive Heart Failure. CVA. CVA is Cerebral Vascular Accident. So, a stroke. CP. CP is cerebral palsy. FX. FX is fracture. Hemiplegia, hemiplegia. This is semi-paralysis. It is usually the result of a stroke or some kind of brain damage where you have half or hemi of your body is either weakened or paralyzed. Um, so hemiplegia is one half of your body is paralyzed. Hematoma. A hematoma is a bruise, a bad bruise. Hematuria. Hematuria is blood in the urine. Hema is blood. Urea is urine. So blood will be present in the urine. Nosocomial infection. A nosocomial infection is acquired while receiving healthcare, so it's like a hospital-associated infection. Also, an HAI is the same. So, a hospital-acquired acquired infection, nosocomial. HAI. So, HAI is healthcare-associated infection, similar to the last one. Um, HAI is an infection that develops as a result of medical care. So you could be outpatient, you could be doing wound care, you could be in a hospice facility, um, rehab. So it is an infection as a result of healthcare association. Healthcare associated infection. NKA stands for no known allergies. NKDA. So NKDA is no known drug allergies. Contracture. Contracture is a permanent shortening producing deformity or distortion. So contracting. It is going in. It's shrinking, um, shortening, so like scar tissue, muscle, tendon, um, to shorten, and it's a permanent um, distortion. Uh, 
Ethics is the knowledge of right from wrong, and it pertains to medical, moral conduct. Ethics. HIPAA. HIPAA is the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. So it pertains to privacy of your medical documents. Um, so HIPAA, Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Hyper. Hyper is a prefix, so the beginning of a word with the meanings of raised, above normal, excessive, um, above average. So hyper is above normal. Hypo. Hypo is also a prefix, so the beginning of a word and the meanings are lower, um, less than, below normal below average, so low. Hypo is low. <clears throat> ADL, or ADLs, those are activities of daily living, so like brush your teeth, take a shower. Um, ADL, activities of daily living. AC and HS. AC is before meals and HS is hour of sleep. So before food and at bedtime. AC is before meals, HS is hour of sleep. Jaundice. Jaundice is the yellowing of the skin and it's normal in babies. Um, it's the buildup of bilirubin in the blood. Um, in older people, it can be a signal that the liver is not working correctly. So, jaundice is yellow skin. Cyanosis. Cyanosis is a bluish color to the skin, and it's usually because of Lacks of, lack of oxygen in the blood. Cyanosis, bluish, bluish skin. NPO. NPO is nothing per oral, so nothing by mouth. NPO. NVD. NVD stands for nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. It could also stand for normal vaginal delivery, but in this case, NVD. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. NOC. That refers to the knock shift, so the nocturnal shift. Instead of saying graveyard, you're saying nocturnal. NOC is NOC for nocturnal. PRN. PRN is as needed. PPE. PPE is personal protective equipment. It is um, material, protective equipment, um, gloves, gown, it protects against infectious materials. So, PPE, personal protective equipment. POST, P-O-L-S-T, Physician Orders for Life Sustaining Treatment. INOs are intake and output, so you're documenting intake and output.
thrombus. A thrombus is a blood clot. A thrombus, it may block blood flow. Um, it is when platelets, proteins, and cells stick together and forms a blood clot. So thrombus is a blood clot. <laughs> Tympanic membrane. Tympanic membrane is the eardrum. It separates the outer ear from the middle ear. So tympanic membrane is the eardrum. Trachea. Trachea is the airway that leads from the larynx to the bronchi. So it's like the windpipe between the lungs and your voice box. Trachea. ABD. ABD stands for abdomen. Anti-embolic. Anti-embolic is preventing or inhibiting thrombus. So you're trying to stop swelling and um, so the another word for it is anti-thrombotic. Um, it's like Ted hose and um, compression stockings. Ambulation. Ambulation is the act or ability to move about. So walking, um, it can be with or without assistive devices or, with, or without help. It's just movement. Atrophy. So muscle atrophy is the thinning, loss of shrinking of muscle tissue, usually lack of use. So it is a lessening of tissue. Adduction, ad, adduction. So that is the movement of your limbs towards the midline of your body. So you're pulling in towards you, adduction. Abduction, abduction. So abduction is to move away from the midline of the body. So to move away from the center of the body. Abduction. Acute, acute is a sudden and severe situation. So like um, an asthma attack or it's something that you're expected to recover from but it is sudden onset. A febrile, a febrile is without fever, free from fever, <laughs> a febrile. B-I-D, B-I-D stands for twice a day, um, bi, so like bicycle. B-I-D, twice a day. T-I-D, T-I-D is three times a day. So like tricycle, <laughs> I think it's really Latin, but T-I-D, three times a day. T-I-A, T-I-A. So T-I-A's are little baby strokes they're similar to little baby strokes. Um, they're like mini strokes. And they are temporary, but they are usually a sign of something bigger coming or something bigger happening. So TIA, transient ischemic or ischemic attack. Transient ischemic attack. Tachycardia, tachycardia. Tachycardia is a condition that makes your heart beat more than 100 times per minute. So it's just a rapid heart rate. Tachycardia, raised heart rate. Tinnitus. Tinnitus is ringing in your ears. There's other sounds that you could be hearing too, but tinnitus is typically ringing in the ears.
Hematuria. Hematuria. So Hema is blood. Urea is urine. So Hematuria is blood in the urine or red blood cells found in the urine. Hypoxia. Hypoxia is having lower than normal levels of oxygen in your blood. Hypoxia. Hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is a condition in which your blood sugar or glucose levels are lower than average. So hypo is low, glycemia is like the blood sugar and glucose measurements. So hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Hyperventilation. Hyperventilation is a rapid and or deep breathing, um, usually caused by panic or anxiety. Um, it can make you feel breathless, dizzy, woozy. Um, hyperventilation, it is rapid deep breathing, like panting. CDC, CDC is the Centers for Disease Control. Um, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, but CDC. CNS. CNS stands for the central nervous system, so the brain and spinal cord. Central nervous system, CNS. CHF. CHF is congestive heart failure. So it's a condition in which the heart has trouble pumping blood through the body. So congestive heart failure, CHF. CVA. CVA is cerebrovascular accident. So it's a stroke. Um, it's loss of blood flow to the part of the brain. Um, CVA, cerebrovascular accident or a stroke. C and S, C and S. Um, that stands for culture and sensitivity. That is a lab or a test that it's performed to detect infection. Um, they want to isolate what the infection is so that they can pair it with the correct antibiotic. So it's a very specific lab. C and S, culture and sensitivity. FX, FX stands for fracture. So it's a fractured bone, FX. TX, TX stands for treatment. Objective. Objective is, it's a complaint or a phenomenon or an issue by a patient that can be observed. It's a physical, visible phenomena. So, ob object. It's, it's, a phys it's physically visible. Objective. Okay. It can be observed by everyone, not just by the complainant. Subjective, subjective. That is information reported by the patient that cannot be seen by others, like um, feeling hot, feeling feverish, feeling numbness, feeling sick, feeling nauseous. It's something that you cannot see visually, but they are reporting to you and it still needs to be documented. So subjective is complains of, but can't be verified visually. You cannot see it. St 
standard precautions. Standard precautions are also universal precautions, and it's just basic healthcare infection control practices used to prevent transmission of disease. So gloves, masks now, um, hand washing, those kinds of things. Standard precaution is universal infection control. Syncope. Syncope is another word for fainting or passing out. It's usually temporary. Um, they are considered to have syncope if they become unconscious or go limp and then soon recover. So syncope is fainting. <laughs>